Well, you now see her more or less trimmed out. Uh, she just had a second little thermal flight flying on light lift coming off of the parking lot over there by that building. Very light lift, but enough to carry this little thing and give flights of about uh, 40 to 60, 70 seconds. And keep in mind, this is the version without any special airfoil or really much effort at all, half hour build, and it's getting lift. I'm firing it on a single, on this catapult that you see here. It's going up on one of those loops, stretched to full capacity. The other thing that happened is I took a bit of the nose weight off and you can perhaps see that the, uh, the stab is cracked and full of creases. That's me massaging it into the, uh, to get the decollage, the, the angle between the stabilizer and the wing to get a little bit of up elevator so that the model will pull out and transition properly. And so now when I shoot it up, it goes vertical all the way up to about Oh, I would say uh, maybe a hundred feet, maybe more. And then flops out, transitions very nicely and just has a nice stable left hand glide. A little bit of Dutch roll, so I'll probably increase the size of the fin just a touch. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Trimming went very well. Initially, the first time I started shooting it up, it was actually doing an outside loop, which suggests that my stab is a bit too negative relative to the wing was probably because, as you saw in the build video, I accidentally put in a bit of a negative on the wing leading edge. So it messed up the decollage a little bit. Not a problem though. In my next video, I'll show you how to add gurney flaps to the stab and the fin to help you do fine trimming, which is what I'm going to do with this model. I'm going to go back now and glue in my settings that I have now, remove the, you know, clean up the stab and then add like a little gurney flap to the stab, which I'll come back out and use to get a final set trimming setup. Right now, the problem is that uh, my trim is warping back out as I fly, because I just flex it into the wood. The other thing that I forgot to do, which was problematic, is I did not put the, um, right there, did not put the little um, wash-in wedge, which helps it, prevents it from spiraling into the left. So I had to actually crease the whole left wing's trailing edge down to sort of play that role. So I'll put a washing wedge on it and I'll put the gurney flaps on and then I'll be back out for final trim and then she's set. So far, a fantastic little model capable of thermaling even with minimal effort in terms of finish and airfoil and all that. See you next time.